And top U.S. intelligence officials say there is no question that Russia interfered with the U.S. election. That's despite President-elect Trump's doubts about the hacking. KPI X5's Melissa Kane reports they believe it may have been part of an even bigger operation. Melissa? Yeah. Today, the National Intelligence Director testified before a Senate panel. He says foreign cyber threats are very real and should not be taken lightly. Next week. National Intelligence Director James Clapper told a Senate committee that Russia's interference in the 2016 presidential election was a multifaceted campaign. The hacking uh, was only one part of it. It also entailed um, you know, classical propaganda, uh, disinformation, fake news. Clapper says Russia's involvement is a major threat to the U.S. government and military. Whether or not that constitutes uh, an act of war, I think, is a very heavy policy call. President-elect Donald Trump has been dismissive at times of the intelligence community's conclusion that Russia tried to influence the election. This week, he appeared to embrace the claims from WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange that leaked emails were not from Russia. This morning, Mr. Trump tweeted, the dishonest media likes saying that I am in agreement with Julian Assange. Wrong. I simply state what he states. It is for the people to make up their own minds as to the truth. Lawmakers say the government is not prepared to respond to cyber attacks and the new administration needs to develop a strategy. We have been attacked and we do not have sufficient defenses. This afternoon, Mr. Trump's team announced that Dan Coats, a former Indiana senator, will replace Clapper as the director of national intelligence. The heads of the CIA, FBI, NSA, and National Intelligence Agency will give President-elect Trump a finalized report on Russia's hacking tomorrow in New York. Now, CBS News has learned that Mr. Trump is also considering restructuring some U.S. intelligence agencies. Live in the newsroom, Melissa Kane, KPIX 5.